In the mathematical fields of differential geometry and tensor calculus, differential forms are an approach to multivariable calculus that is independent of coordinates. Differential forms provide a unified approach to define integrands over curves, surfaces, volumes, and higher dimensional manifolds. The modern notion of differential forms was pioneered by Ali Cartan. It has many applications, especially in geometry, topology and physics. For instance, the expression f x dx from one variable calculus is an example of a one form, and can be integrated over an interval a, b in the domain of f a b f x d x display style int underscore a caret b f x dx similarly the expression f x y z dx dy plus g x y z dz dx plus h x y z dy dz is a two form that has a surface integral over an oriented surface s s f x y z D x D Y plus G x Y Z D Z D x plus H x Y Z D Y D Z Display style int underscore S F X Y Z DX wedge D Y plus G X Y Z D Z wedge D X plus H X Y Z D Y wedge D Z The symbol denotes the exterior product, sometimes called the wedge product, of two differential forms. Likewise, a three-form f x y z dx dy dz represents a volume element that can be integrated over a region of space. In general, a k-form is an object that may be integrated over k-dimensional sets, and is homogeneous of degree k in the coordinate differentials. The algebra of differential forms is organized in a way that naturally reflects the orientation of the domain of integration. There is an operation d on differential forms known as the exterior derivative that, when acting on a k form, produces a k plus one form. This operation extends the differential of a function, and is directly related to the divergence and the curl of a vector field in a manner that makes the fundamental theorem of calculus, the divergence theorem, Green's theorem, and Stokes' theorem special cases of the same general result, known in this context also as the generalized Stokes' theorem. In a deeper way, this theorem relates the topology of the domain of integration to the structure of the differential forms themselves. The precise connection is known as de Ram's theorem. The general setting for the study of differential forms is on a differentiable manifold. Differential one forms are naturally dual to vector fields on a manifold, and the pairing between vector fields and one forms is extended to arbitrary differential forms by the interior product. The algebra of differential forms along with the exterior derivative defined on it is preserved by the pullback under smooth functions between two manifolds. This feature allows geometrically invariant information to be moved from one space to another via the pullback, provided that the information is expressed in terms of differential forms. As an example, the change of variables formula for integration becomes a simple statement that an integral is preserved under pullback. History. Differential forms are part of the field of differential geometry, influenced by linear algebra. 
Although the notion of a differential is quite old, the initial attempt at an algebraic organization of differential forms is usually credited to Ali Carton with reference to his 1899 paper. Some aspects of the exterior algebra of differential forms appears in Hermann Grassmann's 1844 work, Die Linear Lösungslehre, ein neuer Zweig der Mathematik, The Theory of Linear Extension, a new branch of mathematics. Topic: Concept Differential forms provide an approach to multivariable calculus that is independent of coordinates. Topic integration A differential k form can be integrated over a manifold of dimension k. A differential one form can be thought of as measuring an infinitesimal oriented length, or one dimensional density. A differential two form can be thought of as measuring an infinitesimal oriented area, or two-dimensional density. And so on. Integration of differential forms is well defined only on oriented manifolds. An example of a one-dimensional manifold is an interval A, B, and intervals can be given an orientation. They are positively oriented if a A B F X D X display style int underscore a caret B F X D X, which is the negative of the integral of the same differential form over the same interval, when equipped with the opposite orientation. That is, BAF x dx equals minus ABF x dx display style int underscore b carrot a f x dx equals int underscore a carrot b f x dx. This gives a geometrical context to the conventions for one-dimensional integrals that the sign changes when the orientation of the interval is reversed. A standard explanation of this in one variable integration theory is that, when the limits of integration are in the opposite order b dx have opposite directions. More generally, an m-form is an oriented density that can be integrated over an m-dimensional oriented manifold. For example, a one-form can be integrated over an oriented curve, a two-form can be integrated over an oriented surface, etc. if m is an oriented m-dimensional manifold, and m is the same manifold with opposed orientation and omega is an m-form, then one has, m omega equals minus m omega, display style int underscore m omega equals int underscore m omega. These conventions correspond to interpreting the integrand as a differential form, integrated over a chain. In measure theory, by contrast, one interprets the integrand as a function f with respect to a measure mu and integrates over a subset A, without any notion of orientation. One writes A f d mu equals A b f d mu display style text style int underscore A f d mu equals int underscore A b f d mu to indicate integration over a subset A. This is a minor distinction in one dimension, but becomes subtler on higher dimensional manifolds, see below for details. Making the notion of an oriented density precise, and thus of a differential form, involves the exterior algebra. The basic one forms are the differentials of the coordinates, dx1, dxn. Each of these represents a covector that measures a small displacement in the corresponding coordinate direction. A general one form is a linear combination of these differentials f1 dx1 plus plus fn dxn display style f underscore one dx caret one plus c dots plus f underscore n dx caret n, where the fk display style f underscore k are functions of the coordinates. A differential one form is integrated along an oriented curve as a line integral. The basic two forms are expressions dxi dxj, where i a fundamental operation defined on differential forms is the exterior product the symbol is the wedge. This is similar to the cross product from vector calculus, in that it is an alternating product. For instance, d x one D X two equals 
minus d x 2 d x 1 display style dx caret 1 wedge dx caret 2 equals dx caret 2 wedge dx caret 1 because the square whose first side is dx1 and second side is dx2 is to be regarded as having the opposite orientation as the square whose first side is dx2 and whose second side is dx1. The exterior product allows higher dimensional differential forms to be built out of lower dimensional ones, in much the same way that the cross product in vector calculus allows one to compute the area vector of a parallelogram from vectors pointing up the two sides. In addition to the exterior product, there is also the exterior derivative operator d. Like the differential of a function, the exterior derivative gives a way of quantifying a differential form's sensitivity to change. In Rn, if ω equals f dx a is a k form, then d ω is a k plus 1 form defined by d ω equals i equals 1 n f x i d x i d x a display style d omega equals sum underscore i equals 1 caret n frac partial f partial x caret i dx caret i wedge dx caret a with extension to general k forms occurring linearly this more general approach allows for a more natural coordinate free approach to integration on manifolds. It also allows for a natural generalization of the fundamental theorem of calculus, see section Stokes theorem. Topic: Differential calculus. Let U be an open set in Rn a differential zero form zero form is defined to be a smooth function f on u if v is any vector in rn then f has a directional derivative vf which is another function on u whose value at a point p element of u is the rate of change at p of f in the v direction v f p equals d d T F P plus T V T equals zero. Display style partial underscore V F P equals left frac D D T F P plus T V right underscore T equals zero. This notion can be extended to the case that V is a vector field on U by evaluating V at the point P in the definition. In particular, if V equals Ej is the Jth coordinate vector then Vf is the partial derivative of F with respect to the Jth coordinate function, i.e., F, Xj, where X1, X2, Xn are the coordinate functions on U by their very definition. Partial derivatives depend upon the choice of coordinates, if new coordinates y1, y2 un are introduced, then f x j equals i equals 1 n y i x j f y i display style frac partial f partial x caret j equals sum underscore i equals 1 caret n frac partial y caret i partial x caret j frac partial f partial y caret i 
The first idea leading to differential forms is the observation that vf p is a linear function of v, v plus wf p equals vf p plus wf p c vf p equals c vf p display style begin aligned partial underscore v plus w f p and equals partial underscore v f p plus partial underscore w f p partial underscore c v f p and equals c partial underscore v f p end aligned for any vectors v w and any real number c. This linear map from R n to R is denoted d f p and called the derivative of f at p. Thus d f p v equals v f p. The object d f can be viewed as a function on u, whose value at p is not a real number, but the linear map d f p. This is just the usual Frechet derivative, an example of a differential one form. Since any vector v is a linear combination v j e j of its components, d f is uniquely determined by d f p e j for each j and each p element of u, which are just the partial derivatives of f on u. Thus, d f provides a way of encoding the partial derivatives of f. It can be decoded by noticing that the coordinates x1, x2, xn are themselves functions on U, and so define differential one forms dx1, dx2, dxn. Let f topic she since she xj delta g the Kronecker delta function. It follows that. The meaning of this expression is given by evaluating both sides at an arbitrary point p. On the right hand side, the sum is defined pointwise so that d f p equals i equals 1 n f x i P D X I P Display style DF underscore P equals sum underscore I equals one carrot N frac partial F partial X carrot I P DX carrot I underscore P Applying both sides to EJ, the result on each side is the JTH partial derivative of f at p. Since p and j were arbitrary, this proves the formula. Asterisk. More generally, for any smooth functions g and high on U, we define the differential one form α equals i g d h i pointwise by α p equals i g i p d h i p display style alpha underscore p equals sum underscore i g underscore i p d h underscore i underscore p for each p element of u. Any differential one form arises this way, and by using asterisk, it follows that any differential one form alpha on U may be expressed in coordinates as alpha equals i equals one n f i d x i Display style alpha equals sum underscore i equals one carrot n f underscore i dx carrot i for some smooth functions phi on u. The second idea leading to differential forms arises from the following question: Given a differential one form alpha on u, when does there exist a function f on u such that alpha equals df? The above expansion reduces this question to the search for a function f whose partial derivatives f, she are equal to n given functions phi. For n greater than 1, such a function does not always exist. Any smooth function f satisfies 2 f x i x j 
equals 2 f x j x i display style frac partial caret 2 f partial x caret i partial x caret j equals frac partial caret 2 f partial x caret j partial x caret i so it will be impossible to find such an f unless f j x i minus f i x j equals 0 display style frac partial f underscore j partial x caret i frac partial f underscore i partial x caret j equals 0 for all i and j the skew symmetry of the left-hand side in I and J suggests introducing an antisymmetric product on differential one forms, the exterior product, so that these equations can be combined into a single condition. I J equals one N F J X I D x i d x j equals 0 display style sum underscore i j equals 1 caret n frac partial f underscore j partial x caret i dx caret i wedge dx caret j equals 0 where is defined so that d x i d x j equals minus d x j d x i Display style dx carrot i wedge dx carrot j equals dx carrot j wedge dx carrot i this is an example of a differential two form. This two form is called the exterior derivative d alpha of alpha equals n j equals one f j d x j. It is given by d alpha equals j equals one n d f j d x j equals i j equals 1 n f j x i d x i d x j Display style d alpha equals sum underscore j equals one carrot n d f underscore j wedge d x carrot j equals sum underscore i j equals one carrot n frac partial f underscore j partial x carrot i d x carrot i wedge d x carrot j. To summarize, d alpha topic zero is a necessary condition for the existence of a function f with alpha d f. Differential zero forms, one forms, and two forms are special cases of differential forms. For each k, there is a space of differential k forms, which can be expressed in terms of the coordinates as i1, i2, ik equals 1 nf i1 i2, ik dx i1 dx i2 dx ik display style sum underscore i underscore 1, i underscore 2 l dots i underscore k equals 1 carrot nf underscore i underscore 1 i underscore 2 l dots i underscore k dx carrot i underscore Score one wedge dx carrot i underscore two wedge c d o t s wedge dx carrot i underscore k for a collection of functions phi one i two ik. 
Anti-symmetry, which was already present for two forms, makes it possible to restrict the sum to those sets of indices for which I1. Differential forms can be multiplied together using the exterior product, and for any differential k form α, there is a differential k form d α called the exterior derivative of α. Differential forms, the exterior product and the exterior derivative are independent of a choice of coordinates. Consequently, they may be defined on any smooth manifold M. One way to do this is cover M with coordinate charts and define a differential K form on M to be a family of differential K forms on each chart which agree on the overlaps. However, there are more intrinsic definitions which make the independence of coordinates manifest. Intrinsic definitions Let M be a smooth manifold. A smooth differential form of degree K is a smooth section of the KTH exterior power of the cotangent bundle of M. The set of all differential K forms on a manifold M is a vector space, often denoted omega K M. The definition of a differential form may be restated as follows. At any point p element of M, a k form beta defines an element beta p element of k t p M display style beta underscore p in big wedge carrot k t underscore p carrot asterisk M where TPM is the tangent space to M at P and TP asterisk M is its dual space. This space is naturally isomorphic to the fiber at P of the dual bundle of the KTH exterior power of the tangent bundle of M that is, β is also a linear functional β P K T P M R Display style beta underscore p colon big wedge carrot k t underscore p m two math b f r. By the universal property of exterior powers, this is equivalently an alternating multilinear map. Beta p n equals one k t p m R display style beta underscore p colon big O plus underscore n equals one carrot k t underscore p m two math b f r. Consequently, a differential k form may be evaluated against any k tuple of tangent vectors to the same point p of m. For example, a differential one form alpha assigns to each point p element of m a linear functional alpha p on T P M. In the presence of an inner product on TPM induced by a Riemannian metric on M, alpha p may be represented as the inner product with a tangent vector xp. Differential one forms are sometimes called covariant vector fields, covector fields, or dual vector fields, particularly within physics. The exterior algebra may be embedded in the tensor algebra by means of the alternation map. The alternation map is defined as a mapping alt k t m k t m display style operator name alt colon bigger times caret k t caret asterisk m to bigger times caret k t caret asterisk m for a tensor at a point p alt Omega P X one X K equals one K Sigma element of S K S G N Sigma Omega P X Sigma 
1 x sigma k display style operator name alt omega underscore p x underscore 1 dots x underscore k equals frac 1 k sum underscore sigma in s underscore k operator name sgn sigma omega underscore p x underscore sigma 1 dots x underscore sigma k where sk is the symmetric group on k elements the alternation map is constant on the cosets of the ideal in the tensor algebra generated by the symmetric two forms, and therefore descends to an embedding alt k t m k t m display style operator name alt colon big wedge carrot k t carrot asterisk m to bigger times carrot k t carrot asterisk m this map exhibits beta as a totally anti-symmetric covariant tensor field of rank k the differential forms on m are in one to one correspondence with such tensor fields Topic Operations As well as the addition and multiplication by scalar operations which arise from the vector space structure, there are several other standard operations defined on differential forms. The most important operations are the exterior product of two differential forms, the exterior derivative of a single differential form, the interior product of a differential form and a vector field, the Lie derivative of a differential form with respect to a vector field and the covariant derivative of a differential form with respect to a vector field on a manifold with a defined connection. topic exterior product the exterior product of a k form alpha and an l form beta is a k plus l form denoted alpha beta at each point p of the manifold m the forms alpha and beta are elements of an exterior power of the tangent space at p when the exterior algebra is viewed as a quotient of the tensor algebra, the exterior product corresponds to the tensor product modulo the equivalence relation defining the exterior algebra. The antisymmetry inherent in the exterior algebra means that when alpha beta is viewed as a multilinear functional, it is alternating. However, when the exterior algebra embedded a subspace of the tensor algebra by means of the alternation map, the tensor product alpha beta is not alternating. There is an explicit formula which describes the exterior product in this situation. The exterior product is alpha beta equals k plus k alt alpha beta display style alpha wedge beta equals frac k plus l k l operator name alt alpha o times beta this description is useful for explicit computations for example if k topic l 1 then alpha beta is the two form whose value at a point p is the alternating bilinear form defined by alpha beta p v w equals alpha p v beta p w minus alpha p w beta p v display style alpha wedge beta underscore p v w equals alpha underscore p v beta underscore p w alpha underscore p w beta underscore p v for v w element of tpm 
The exterior product is bilinear, if α, β, and γ are any differential forms, and if f is any smooth function, then α β plus γ equals α β plus α γ Display style alpha wedge beta plus gamma equals alpha wedge beta plus alpha wedge gamma alpha f beta equals f alpha beta display style alpha wedge f c d o t beta equals f c d o t alpha wedge beta it is skew commutative also known as graded commutative meaning that it satisfies a variant of anti commutativity that depends on the degrees of the forms if alpha is a k form and beta is an l form then alpha beta equals minus 1 k l beta alpha Display style alpha wedge beta equals minus one carrot k l beta wedge alpha. Topic Riemannian manifold. On a Riemannian manifold, or more generally a pseudo-Riemannian manifold, the metric defines a fiber-wise isomorphism of the tangent and cotangent spaces. This makes it possible to convert vector fields to covector fields and vice versa. It also enables the definition of additional operations such as the Hodge star operator omega k m omega n minus k m Display style star colon omega caret k m stackrel sim two omega caret n k m and the co-differential delta omega k m omega k minus one m Display style delta colon omega caret k m right arrow omega caret k one m, which has degree minus one and is adjoint to the exterior differential d. Topic: Vector field structures. On a pseudo-Riemannian manifold, one forms can be identified with vector fields. Vector fields have additional distinct algebraic structures, which are listed here for context and to avoid confusion. Firstly, each co tangent space generates a Clifford algebra, where the product of a co vector with itself is given by the value of a quadratic form, in this case, the natural one induced by the metric. This algebra is distinct from the exterior algebra of differential forms, which can be viewed as a Clifford algebra where the quadratic form vanishes since the exterior product of any vector with itself is zero. Clifford algebras are thus non-anti-commutative quantum deformations of the exterior algebra. They are studied in geometric algebra. Another alternative is to consider vector fields as derivations. The noncommutative algebra of differential operators they generate is the Weyl algebra and is a noncommutative quantum deformation of the symmetric algebra in the vector fields. Topic: <laughs> <laughs> Exterior differential complex. One important property of the exterior derivative is that d2 equals zero. This means that the exterior derivative defines a Cochine complex zero omega zero m d omega one m 
d omega 2 m d omega 3 m omega n m 0 Display style zero two omega carrot zero M stackrel D two omega carrot one M stackrel D two omega carrot two M stackrel D two omega carrot three M two C D O T S two omega carrot N M two zero This complex is called the de Rham complex, and its cohomology is by definition the de Rham cohomology of M by the Poincare lemma. The de Rham complex is locally exact except at ω0 m. The kernel at ω0 m is the space of locally constant functions on M. Therefore, the complex is a resolution of the constant sheaf R underscore display style underline math bfr which in turn implies a form of de ram's theorem de rham cohomology computes the sheaf cohomology of r underscore display style underline math bfr topic pullback Suppose that f, mn is smooth. The differential of f is a smooth map df, trademark tn between the tangent bundles of m and n. This map is also denoted f and called the pushforward. For any point p element of m and any v element of t p m, there is a well-defined pushforward vector f v in t f p n. However, the same is not true of a vector field. If f is not injective, say because q element of n has two or more preimages, then the vector field may determine two or more distinct vectors in TQn. If f is not surjective, then will be a point q element of n at which f does not determine any tangent vector at all. Since a vector field on n determines, by definition, a unique tangent vector at every point of n, the pushforward of a vector field does not always exist. By contrast, it is always possible to pull back a differential form. A differential form on n may be viewed as a linear functional on each tangent space. Precomposing this functional with the differential df, trademark tn defines a linear functional on each tangent space of M and therefore a differential form on M. The existence of pullbacks is one of the key features of the theory of differential forms. It leads to the existence of pullback maps in other situations, such as pullback homomorphisms in de Rham cohomology. Formally, let f, mn be smooth, and let ω be a smooth k form on n. Then there is a differential form f ω on m, called the pullback of ω, which captures the behavior of ω as seen relative to f. To define the pullback, fix a point P of m and tangent vectors v1 vk to m at p, the pullback of omega is defined by the formula f omega p v 1 v k equals omega f p f v 1 f V K Display style F carrot asterisk omega underscore P V underscore one L dots V underscore K equals omega underscore F P F underscore asterisk V underscore one L dots F underscore asterisk V underscore K There are several more abstract ways to view this definition. If omega is a one form on n, then it may be viewed as a section of the cotangent bundle Tn of n using to denote a dual map, the dual to the differential of f is df, Tn Tm. The pullback of omega may be defined to be the composite m f n omega t 
n d f t m display style m stackrel f two n stackrel omega two t caret asterisk n stackrel d f caret asterisk long right arrow t caret asterisk m this is a section of the cotangent bundle of M and hence a differential one form on M in full generality. Let K D F display style wedge caret K D F caret asterisk denote the kth exterior power of the dual map to the differential. Then the pullback of a k form omega is the composite M. F N Omega K T N K D F K T M Display style M stackrel F two N stackrel Omega two wedge carrot K T carrot asterisk N stackrel wedge carrot K D F carrot asterisk long right arrow wedge carrot K T carrot asterisk M Another abstract way to view the pullback comes from viewing a K form Omega as a linear functional on tangent spaces. From this point of view, Omega is a morphism of vector bundles. K T N Omega N times R Display style wedge carrot K T N stackrel Omega to N times Math BF R where N times R is the trivial rank one bundle on N. The composite map K T M K D F K T N Omega N times R Display style wedge carrot K trademark stackrel wedge carrot K D F long right arrow wedge carrot K T N stackrel Omega to N times Math B F R defines a linear functional on each tangent space of M, and therefore it factors through the trivial bundle M times R the vector bundle morphism K T M M times R display style wedge carrot K trademark to M times math BF R defined in this way is F omega Pullback respects all of the basic operations on forms. If omega and eta are forms and c is a real number, then f c omega equals c f omega f omega plus eta equals F Omega plus F Ata F Omega Ata equals F Omega F Ata F D Omega equals D F Omega Display style begin aligned F carrot asterisk C Omega and equals C F carrot asterisk Omega F carrot asterisk Omega plus Ata and equals F carrot asterisk Omega plus F carrot asterisk Ata F carrot asterisk Omega wedge Ata and equals F carrot asterisk Omega wedge F carrot asterisk Ata F carrot asterisk D Omega and equals D F carrot asterisk Omega end aligned the pullback of a form can also be written in coordinates. Assume that x1, xm are coordinates on M, that y1, un are coordinates on N, and that these coordinate systems are related by the formulas y equals phi x1, xm for all i. 
Locally on N, omega can be written as omega equals i1 ik omega i1 ik dy i1 dy ik. Display style omega equals sum underscore i underscore one, where for each choice of i1 ik, omega i1 ik is a real valued function of y1 un. Using the linearity of pullback and its compatibility with exterior product, the pullback of omega has the formula f omega equals i1 ik omega i1 ik f df i1 df ik display style f caret asterisk omega equals sum underscore i underscore one. Each exterior derivative df i can be expanded in terms of dx1 dxm. The resulting K form can be written using Jacobian matrices, F omega equals I1 IK J1 JK omega I1 IK F F I1, F I K. X J1, X J K, DX J1, DX J K, display style F carrot, asterisk, omega equals, sum underscore, I underscore one. Here F I one F I K X J one X J K Display style frac partial F underscore I underscore one L dots F underscore I underscore K partial X carrot J underscore one L dots X carrot J underscore K Denotes the determinant of the matrix whose entries are F I M X J N Display style frac partial F underscore I underscore M partial X carrot J underscore N one M N K Display style one LEQ M N LEQ K Topic Integration A differential K form can be integrated over an oriented K dimensional manifold. When the k-form is defined on an n-dimensional manifold with n greater than k, then the k-form can be integrated over oriented k-dimensional submanifolds. If k topic 0, this is just a valuation of a function at points. Other values of k 1, 2, 3 correspond to line integrals, surface integrals, volume integrals, and so on. There are several equivalent ways to formally define the integral of a differential form, all of which depend on reducing to the case of Euclidean space. <laughs> Integration on Euclidean space Let U be an open subset of Rn. Give Rn its standard orientation and U the restriction of that orientation. Every smooth n form omega on U has the form omega equals f x d x one d x n Display style omega equals f x dx caret one wedge c d o t s wedge dx caret n for some smooth function f r n r such a function has an integral in the usual Riemann or Lebesgue sense. This allows us to define the integral of omega to be the integral of f u omega equals def u F x d x one d x n 
Display style int underscore u omega stackrel text def equals int underscore u f x dx carrot one c d o t s dx carrot n. Fixing an orientation is necessary for this to be well defined. The skew symmetry of differential forms means that the integral of, say, dx1 dx2 must be the negative of the integral of dx2 dx1. Riemann and Liebesgé integrals cannot see this dependence on the ordering of the coordinates, so they leave the sign of the integral undetermined. The orientation resolves this ambiguity. Topic integration over chains Let M be an n-manifold and ω an n-form on M first, assume that there is a parametrization of M by an open subset of Euclidean space. That is, assume that there exists a diffeomorphism phi, dm to m where d are n. Give m the orientation induced by phi. Then, Rudin 1976 defines the integral of omega over m to be the integral of phi omega over d in coordinates. This has the following expression: Fix a chart on m with coordinates x1, xn. Then omega equals i1 in a i1 in x dx i1 dx in. Display style omega equals sum underscore i underscore one. Suppose that phi is defined by phi u equals x one u x n u. Display style var phi math bf u equals x caret one math bf u dots x caret n math bf u. Then the integral may be written in coordinates as m omega equals d i one i n a i one i n phi u x i one x i n u one u n d u one d u n display style int underscore m omega equals int underscore d sum underscore i underscore one where x i one x i n u one u n display style frac partial x caret i underscore one dots x caret i underscore n partial u caret one dots u caret n is the determinant of the Jacobian. The Jacobian exists because phi is differentiable. In general, an n-manifold cannot be parametrized by an open subset of Rn. But such a parametrization is always possible locally, so it is possible to define integrals over arbitrary manifolds by defining them as sums of integrals over collections of local parametrizations. Moreover, it is also possible to define parametrizations of k-dimensional subsets for k. If the chain is C equals I equals one R M I Phi I Display style C equals sum underscore I equals one carrot R M underscore I Vafi underscore I then the integral of a k form omega over c is defined to be the sum of the integrals over the terms of c. C omega equals i equals one r m i d phi i omega Display style int underscore c omega equals sum underscore i equals one carrot r m underscore i int underscore d var phi underscore i carrot asterisk omega. This approach to defining integration does not assign a direct meaning to integration over the whole manifold M. However, it is still possible to assign such a meaning indirectly because every smooth manifold may be smoothly triangulated in an essentially unique way, and the integral over M may be defined to be the integral over the chain determined by a triangulation. Integration using partitions of unity 
There is another approach, expounded in 1972, which does directly assign a meaning to integration over m, but this approach requires fixing an orientation of m. The integral of an n-form omega on an n-dimensional manifold is defined by working in charts. Suppose first that omega is supported on a single positively oriented chart. On this chart, it may be pulled back to an n form on an open subset of Rn. Here, the form has a well defined Riemann or Lebesgue integral as before. The change of variables formula and the assumption that the chart is positively oriented together ensure that the integral of ω is independent of the chosen chart. In the general case, use a partition of unity to write omega as a sum of n forms, each of which is supported in a single positively oriented chart, and define the integral of omega to be the sum of the integrals of each term in the partition of unity. It is also possible to integrate k forms on oriented k dimensional submanifolds using this more intrinsic approach. The form is pulled back to the submanifold, where the integral is defined using charts as before. For example, given a path γ t, 0, 1, r2, integrating a one form on the path is simply pulling back the form to a form f t dt on 0, 1, and this integral is the integral of the function f t on the interval. Topic integration along fibers Fubini's theorem states that the integral over a set that is a product may be computed as an iterated integral over the two factors in the product. This suggests that the integral of a differential form over a product ought to be computable as an iterated integral as well. The geometric flexibility of differential forms ensures that this is possible not just for products, but in more general situations as well. Under some hypotheses, it is possible to integrate along the fibers of a smooth map, and the analog of Fubini's theorem is the case where this map is the projection from a product to one of its factors. Because integrating a differential form over a submanifold requires fixing an orientation, a prerequisite to integration along fibers is the existence of a well-defined orientation on those fibers. Let M and N be two orientable manifolds of pure dimensions M and N, respectively. Suppose that F, M N is a surjective submersion. This implies that each fiber F-1 is M -N dimensional and that, around each point of M, there is a chart on which F looks like the projection from a product onto one of its factors. Fix X element of M and set Y equals F X. Suppose that omega x element of m t x m a to y element of n t y n display style begin aligned omega underscore x and in wedge caret m t underscore x caret asterisk m a to underscore y and in wedge caret n t underscore y caret asterisk n end aligned and that a to y does not vanish. Following Dierdon 1972, there is a unique Sigma x element of M minus N T x F minus one Y Display style sigma underscore x in wedge carrot M N T underscore x carrot asterisk F carrot minus one Y which may be thought of as the fibral part of omega x with respect to a to y. More precisely, define j f minus one y m to be the inclusion. Then sigma x is defined by the property that omega x equals f a to y x sigma x element of m t x m display style omega underscore x equals f caret asterisk eta underscore y underscore x wedge sigma underscore x in wedge caret m t underscore x caret asterisk m 
where sigma x element of m minus n t x m display style sigma underscore x in wedge caret m n t underscore x caret asterisk m is any m minus n covector for which sigma x equals j sigma x display style sigma underscore x equals j caret asterisk sigma underscore x the form sigma x may also be notated omega x a to y moreover for fixed y sigma x varies smoothly with respect to x that is suppose that omega f minus 1 y t m display style omega colon f caret minus 1 y to t caret asterisk m is a smooth section of the projection map we say that omega is a smooth differential m form on m along f minus 1 y then there is a smooth differential m minus n form sigma on f minus one y such that at each x element of f minus one y sigma x equals omega x eta y display style sigma underscore x equals omega underscore x eta underscore y this form is denoted omega a to y. The same construction works if omega is an m form in a neighborhood of the fiber, and the same notation is used. A consequence is that each fiber f minus one y is orientable. In particular, a choice of orientation forms on m and n defines an orientation of every fiber of f. The analog of Fubini's theorem is as follows. As before, m and n are two orientable manifolds of pure dimensions m and n, and f, m n is a surjective submersion. Fix orientations of m and n, and give each fiber of f the induced orientation. Let θ be an m form on m, and let z be an n form on n that is almost everywhere positive with respect to the orientation of n. Then, for almost every y element of n, the form θ, z y is a well defined integrable m n form on f 1 y. Moreover, there is an integrable n form on n defined by y f 1 y theta zeta y zeta y display style y mapsto big int underscore f caret minus 1 y theta zeta underscore y big zeta underscore y denote this form by f minus 1 y Theta, zeta, zeta. Display style big int underscore f caret minus one y theta zeta big zeta. Then Dierdon 1972 proves the generalized Fubini formula. M theta equals n f minus one Y theta zeta zeta display style int underscore m theta equals int underscore n big int underscore f caret minus one Y theta zeta big zeta. It is also possible to integrate forms of other degrees along the fibers of a submersion. Assume the same hypotheses as before, and let α be a compactly supported m n plus k form on m. Then there is a k form γ on n, which is the result of integrating α along the fibers of f. 
The form α is defined by specifying, at each y element of n, how α pairs against each k vector v at y, and the value of that pairing is an integral over f1 that depends only on α, v, and the orientations of m and n. More precisely, at each y element of n, there is an isomorphism k t y n m minus k t y n display style wedge caret k t underscore y n two wedge caret m k t underscore y caret asterisk n defined by the interior product v v zeta y Display style Math BF V Mapsto Math BF V LR corner Zeta underscore Y. If x element of f minus one y, then a k vector v at y determines an m minus k covector at x by pullback f v zeta y element of m minus K T X M display style f caret asterisk math b f v l r corner zeta underscore y in wedge caret m k T underscore X caret asterisk M. Each of these covectors has an exterior product against alpha, so there is an m minus n form beta v on m along f minus one y defined by Beta v x equals alpha x f v zeta y zeta y element of m minus n t x M display style beta underscore math bf v underscore x equals left alpha underscore x wedge f caret asterisk math bf v l r corner zeta underscore y right big zeta underscore y in wedge caret m n t underscore x caret asterisk m. This form depends on the orientation of n, but not the choice of zeta. Then the K form gamma is uniquely defined by the property gamma y v equals f minus one y beta v x Display style Langle gamma underscore y math bf v wrangle equals int underscore f caret minus one y beta underscore math bf v x and gamma is smooth. Dierdon 1972. This form also denoted alpha flat and called the integral of alpha along the fibers of f. Integration along fibers is important for the construction of Gizan maps in de Rham cohomology. Integration along fibers satisfies the projection formula If λ is any form on N, then α flat λ equals α f lambda flat display style alpha caret flat wedge lambda equals alpha wedge f caret asterisk lambda caret flat topic stokes theorem the fundamental relationship between the exterior derivative and integration is given by the stokes theorem if omega is an n minus 1 form with compact support on m and m denotes the boundary of m with its induced orientation then m d omega equals m 
omega display style int underscore m d omega equals int underscore partial m omega a key consequence of this is that the integral of a closed form over homologous chains is equal if omega is a closed k form and m and n are k chains that are homologous such that m minus n is the boundary of a k plus 1 chain w then m omega equals n omega display style text style int underscore m omega equals int underscore n omega since the difference is the integral w d omega equals w 0 equals 0 display style int underscore w d omega equals int underscore w 0 equals 0 for example, if omega equals df is the derivative of a potential function on the plane or Rn, then the integral of omega over a path from a to b does not depend on the choice of path. The integral is f b minus f a, since different paths with given endpoints are homotopic, hence homologous, a weaker condition. This case is called the gradient theorem and generalizes the fundamental theorem of calculus. This path independence is very useful in contour integration. This theorem also underlies the duality between de Rham cohomology and the homology of chains. Topic: <laughs> <laughs> Relation with measures. On a general differentiable manifold without additional structure, differential forms cannot be integrated over subsets of the manifold. This distinction is key to the distinction between differential forms, which are integrated over chains or oriented submanifolds, and measures, which are integrated over subsets. The simplest example is attempting to integrate the one form dx over the interval 0, 1. Assuming the usual distance and thus measure on the real line, this integral is either 1 or minus 1, depending on orientation 0 1 d x equals 1 Display style, text style, int underscore 0, carrot 1 dx equals 1 while 1 0 d x equals minus 0 1 d x equals minus 1 Display style text style int underscore one carrot zero dx equals int underscore zero carrot one dx equals minus one. By contrast, the integral of the measure dx on the interval is unambiguously one. Formally, the integral of the constant function one with respect to this measure is one. Similarly, under a change of coordinates a differential n-form changes by the Jacobian determinant j, while a measure changes by the absolute value of the Jacobian determinant, j, which further reflects the issue of orientation. For example, under the map x minus x on the line, the differential form dx pulls back to minus dx, orientation has reversed, while the Lebesgue measure, which here we denote, dx, pulls back to, dx, it does not change. In the presence of the additional data of an orientation, it is possible to integrate n forms, top dimensional forms over the entire manifold or over compact subsets. Integration over the entire manifold corresponds to integrating the form over the fundamental class of the manifold, M. Formally, in the presence of an orientation, one may identify n forms with densities on a manifold. Densities in turn define a measure and thus can be integrated. Folland 1999, section 11.4, pp. 361 to 362. 
On an orientable but not oriented manifold, there are two choices of orientation, either choice allows one to integrate n forms over compact subsets, with the two choices differing by a sign. On non-orientable manifold, n forms and densities cannot be identified, notably, any top-dimensional form must vanish somewhere there are no volume forms on non-orientable manifolds, but there are nowhere vanishing densities, thus while one can integrate densities over compact subsets, one cannot integrate n forms. One can instead identify densities with top-dimensional pseudoforms. Even in the presence of an orientation, there is in general no meaningful way to integrate k-forms over subsets for k on a Riemannian manifold. One may define a k-dimensional Hausdorff measure for any k integer or real, which may be integrated over k-dimensional subsets of the manifold. A function times this Hausdorff measure can then be integrated over k-dimensional subsets, providing a measure theoretic analog to integration of k-forms. The n-dimensional Hausdorff measure yields a density, as above. Currents <coughs> 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 The differential form analog of a distribution or generalized function is called a current. The space of k-currents on M is the dual space to an appropriate space of differential k-forms. Currents play the role of generalized domains of integration, similar to but even more flexible than chains. Topic: <laughs> Applications in physics. Differential forms arise in some important physical contexts. For example, in Maxwell's theory of electromagnetism, the Faraday two form, or electromagnetic field strength, is F equals 1 2 F A B D X A D X B display style text BF F equals frac 1 2 F underscore ab DX carrot a wedge DX carrot B where the fab are formed from the electromagnetic fields e display style VEC e and B display style VEC B e.g. f12 topic <laughs> ezc f23 minus bz or equivalent definitions this form is a special case of the curvature form on the u1 principal bundle on which both electromagnetism and general gauge theories may be described the connection form for the principal bundle is the vector potential, typically denoted by A, when represented in some gauge. One then has F equals D A. Display style text B F F equals D text B F A. The current three form is J equals one. 6 j a epsilon a b c d d x b d x c d x d Display style text BF J equals frac one six J carrot a verepsilon underscore A B C D DX carrot B wedge DX carrot C wedge DX carrot D where Y are the four components of the current density. Here it is a matter of convention to write Fab instead of Fab, i.e. to use capital letters, and to write Y instead of Y. However, the vector RSP 
Tensor components and the above-mentioned forms have different physical dimensions. Moreover, by decision of an international commission of the International Union of Pure and Applied Physics, the magnetic polarization vector is called J J since several decades, and by some publishers J, i.e. the same name is used for different quantities. Using the above-mentioned definitions, Maxwell's equations can be written very compactly in geometrized units as df equals zero df equals j. Display style begin aligned d text bf f and equals text bf zero d star text bf f and equals text bf j end aligned where display style star denotes the Hodge star operator. Similar considerations describe the geometry of gauge theories in general. The two form F display style star math BF F, which is dual to the Faraday form, is also called Maxwell two form. Electromagnetism is an example of a U one gauge theory. Here the Lie group is U one, the one-dimensional unitary group, which is in particular abelian. There are gauge theories, such as Yang-Mills theory, in which the Lie group is not abelian. In that case, one gets relations which are similar to those described here. The analogue of the field F in such theories is the curvature form of the connection, which is represented in a gauge by a Lie algebra valued 1 form A. The Yang-Mills field F is then defined by F equals d a plus a a display style math b f f equals d math b f a plus math b f a wedge math b f a. In the abelian case, such as electromagnetism, a a equals zero, but this does not hold in general. Likewise, the field equations are modified by additional terms involving exterior products of A and F, owing to the structure equations of the gauge group. Equals. Topic: Applications in geometric measure theory. Equals. Numerous minimality results for complex analytic manifolds are based on the Wertinger inequality for two forms. A succinct proof may be found in Herbert Federer's classic text Geometric Measure Theory. The Wertinger inequality is also a key ingredient in Gromov's inequality for complex projective space in systolic geometry. <laughs> See also equals Closed and exact differential forms Complex differential form Vector-valued differential form Equivariant differential form Calculus on manifolds Multilinear form Notes <laughs> <laughs>